Do you know that you can download brushes from Clip Studio, even if you didn't buy the license? First open up Clip Studio from the desktop shortcut. If you can't find it, you can type in Clip Studio on the search windows icon thing in corner. Everything you need will be in Clip Studio asset menu. There are ton of things here. There are new stuff, top free, and even top paid materials. Those paid stuff are using Clippy coins, which you can buy or sometime get freely. I don't know much about those paid material, so we will focus on the free stuff as usual. We will click see more on the top free category. We can see it based on top daily, top weekly, and top monthly. There are too many materials here. I'm sure you will like one of them. Even you also can see older rankings. This is pretty similar to internet browser, we can go back and there is a menu here. I guess I'll try to download one random brush for example. Going to free stuff, they are really good even it's free. I prefer the monthly ranking. I think it will have better quality. Let's try this number one. You can read description about the brush here along with some image example. Simply hit the download button. But you actually need an account here. So click the login button on top. Then log in. If you still don't have any account, you can make one for free. Click the register button. And it will open up browser to Clip Studio website. Put your email here then check your email. There will be an email from Clip Studio. Open it and click the link to continue. Then just continue fill up the details here. This newsletter here is optional. You can uncheck it so you will not receive email from Clip Studio. And it's finished. Go back to Clip Studio and log in. You should see your name on top here after login. Now you can download the brush. Click the icon here to see the download progress. Some brush actually have bigger size, which can take a while to download. Now it's done. Open up Clip Studio Paint to check your new brush. Click this icon here to add your downloaded brush. It says add sub to. And you will see the brush that you downloaded. Click the brush, then hit add palette. And it will appear on bottom of your brush list. Actually, you can do this with any tool, like from the pen tool, pencil tool, even on eraser. Click this tag to remove filter materials that you already installed. You also can move the brush manually anywhere. Simply drag it. You also can move it to different group. Drag it to different group. And you can make new group too. You also can see all your downloaded materials from this menu. Check those icons on right side. This menu can be hidden inside this arrow. If you can't find it, you can open it up using the Windows menu and click Material. And it's done! It's really easy to download and add new brushes. I guess I'll try to draw using the new brush I downloaded. The description says it works as a pen. Actually, I think Clip Studio has this unique smooth feeling when I draw. This actually feels really good. I think one of the best I ever tried. Line art is totally not my thing. Okay then, just enjoy the process. The paint trying to get smooth lines, lot of redo. I erase everything and redo it so it will cleaner. I always recommend to draw zoomed out like this, because this is how people will see our drawing.